Like Gallipoli, the former Italian coastal fortress of Tobruk in Libya has a distinguished place in Australia's war annals. In 1940, Tobruk was captured by Allied forces. Australians then fought vigorously in 1941 to hold the besieged port for 242 days against German and Italian forces. Australians fought alongside British, Indian and Polish troops and endured harsh conditions throughout the siege. In 1941 was a bleak time for the Allied forces. The British had already been forced out of France the previous year, and although inroads had been made in North Africa against the Italians, Hitler's new Africa Corps under General Rommel forced the retreat of Allied forces from the Libyan desert. The port of Tobruk was to be held at all costs, to disrupt Axis plans for a quick conquest of Egypt. On the 10th of April 1941, the Tobruk fortress was cut off by land. The epic siege had begun. Good morning and welcome to Geelong Newsbeat on this very special day. Yes, Australia's National Commemorative Day of Anzac Day. They shall not grow old as they that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. Wonderful words, great meaning on Anzac Day. As we open this special Anzac Day program, and joining us this morning is a man who has seen a lot of action in his life, and today is a special day for him. He is one of the original remaining rats of Tobruk here in our great city of Geelong. It's a very warm welcome to Arthur Byrne. Good morning, Arthur. How are you, mate? Good morning. I'm good, thank you. You're good. Anzac Day. Uh, obviously, uh, it always brings back uh, memories. Many, yes. uh, Many memories. Yeah. How old were you uh, when you joined up? 18. Is that the truth, or...? Uh, <laughs> Did you cheat no, on it? No, that doesn't be too hard. I got my parents to sign the paper before I filled it in. And uh, how did you end up over uh, at Tobruk? I went over in the 6th uh, Division reinforcements and uh, we were transferred out of that to a unit that was formed in England to fill in up. They were shorter troops. And uh, that went from there to Tobruk. Now the story of uh, the, the siege of Tobruk uh, was uh, was centred around the um, the Allied forces having to protect Tobruk from the Germans attempting to get into uh, into Egypt. Is that right? Right, That's, that is correct. Yes, it held them there because it was their only avenue of um, of supplies and so forth. We cut off those supply lines, and uh, it was mainly Australian forces. But you had uh, other Allied forces with you. Yes, we, we had uh, English and uh, Poles, a few Poles, a few Indians. Not many of any of them, uh, ma most were English regiments that had been out in the Middle East for years. And uh, of course the leader uh, of the, uh, the German charge was uh, the, uh, the Desert Rat, General, uh, General Rommel. Erwin Robin, yeah. yeah. And you had, to, you, had, you had to stop him. <coughs> he must have been a great man, yeah. Yes, yeah, he, he was. That was the only place he was ever defeated. Only place he's ever was defeated. Yeah. What does Anzac Day mean to you, Arthur? Oh, a lot of memories, and uh, you know, I don't uh, participate much generally. I go along to the club and have a yap and so forth, but uh, I haven't marched a good many years. But. It's a time of reflection, actually. You think about what happened and what might have happened and all the rest of it, you know. That's enough, but uh, one thing you, uh, you are able to uh, think about and remember is, uh, of course, that after it was all over and the years that have gone by is uh, the wonderful mateship and comradeship that you, you've, uh, you've developed with uh, your mates that were able to come home with you. That's true, yes. It's, uh, they're just about finished now, though, unfortunately. 
Out of the uh, four of us that were at that uh, meeting the other day, three of us sailed on the same ship when we went overseas. Uh, we didn't know each other, but uh, we're still together. Mm. And uh, today in the Anzac Day March uh, in our great city of Geelong, the Ratsits Brook Banner is uh, proudly leading the march and has been carried by the uh, head prefects of the Belmont High School. You might like to tell our viewers uh, the story behind that. That, that, is, that is correct. That's, um, it's quite a thing. We haven't, had, we haven't marched in a number of years and of course the Ratsits Brook are finished there. And uh, I don't know how it came about, but they've, uh, they've found the uh, Belmont High School was prepared to mother sort of thing. And they are going to continue on with the march for as long as necessary. Each, uh, each year they will have the same grades doing the march and uh, in remembrance of the Ratchet to Brook. And, uh, we handed over the ban banner to them last Friday and uh, we had a wonderful day up there and uh, oh, the kids were really wrapped in it. There were about 600 of them in the hall and uh, their teachers, a few army fellows and uh, really great day. It really brought everything back, you know. And a little bit of tells me, Arthur, you, uh, you also enjoyed a, uh, a nice uh, luncheon at the, uh, the Naval Club. I had afternoon tea at the high school first and then we went down to the Navy Club and <laughs> they looked after us fairly well. Yeah. <laughs> and you're always a regular member down here at the, the Geelong RSL sub-branch. Uh, yes. we've, we've got a corner of the bar, ladies and gentlemen, that's known as Arthur's Corner. And uh, you keep it warm every, uh, every night from about, uh, well, about, oh. about 4 o'clock till 5.30. Not so much now. It used to be every night. There's... Uh, they used to say one time that I held a record of being at the RSL eight days a week. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that doesn't exist anymore. I get tired a bit more now. <laughs> one of the great men who served our country and served valiantly and was one of the many lucky ones that came home, particularly from the shores and the siege of Tobruk, where the Allied forces held off the German forces as they were attempting to break through the defences and take Tobruk, which would have then given them the access across the Mediterranean into Egypt. And it was the Australian forces led by men like Arthur Byrne that held firm and won the day for Australia during the Second World War. Thank you very much for your time, Arthur. Thank you have you. A, a great day for the remainder of Anzac Day, as I know you normally will. Do that with uh, one of your old mates, Billy Morfitt. Good morning, Silver. How are you? Uh, did, did Silver behave himself? Oh, yes, oh, he'll be all right. He'll be all he'll right. He'll be there. Great characters, Geelong RSL sub branch, and our Anzac Day special. We'll take a break on Geelong Newsbeat and be back with more shortly. <laughs>